Wes from Carl Wesley Sewing Patterns here. Welcome to the sewing tutorial for my quick and easy briefs pattern. This pattern is designed for four-way stretch knit fabrics and comes in men's sizes small to 2XL. This is a beginner level pattern for learning how to sew your own underwear. If you don't already have this pattern, you can purchase it as a PDF download from a link in the description below. I've already got my pattern assembled and cut out in my size. Quickly, I want to point out that the brief's rear piece is cut on the fold of the fabric here, and there is also a black triangle notch at the waistline. You should snip that through all layers of fabric to mark the center back of the pattern. I also want to point out that the long black arrowed lines on the pattern pieces are to indicate the greatest stretch of the fabric which is usually not the same as the grain line of the fabric. The fabric I'm using is a four-way stretch brushed jersey knit that I purchased from Fabric Wholesale Direct. If it's still available, I'll drop a link in the description below so that you can order it for yourself. Now the pouch piece, we need to have four of those, so I'm going to reposition that pattern piece and cut through the layers once more. After cutting, your pattern pieces will look like this. You will have four pouch pieces and one rear piece. You also need to cut one waistband elastic and two leg opening elastics. Please refer to the chart on your pattern or in your instructions to get these lengths. The first step in sewing our briefs is that we need to sew our pouch pieces together. First, we need to place these right sides together. We're going to create two pouches because we're going to have one on the outside and one lining. We are going to sew the pouches along the curved edge. You can use pins or sewing clips to secure these before you take them to your serger. We are going to sew these at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. There's no need to stretch during the sewing, just let your machine pull the material through on its own. Since we're sewing a curve, be careful not to get going too fast because we want to make sure our seam allowance is consistent all the way through. Stitch together the second set of pouch pieces just the same as you did the first set. This is what you will have after you finish sewing. Two identical sets of pouches. The next step is that we need to sew the crotch seam. First, open up one of your pouches and place it face side up. Then place the crotch of the brief's rear piece lining up the edges of the fabric and then place your remaining pouch piece face side down so that the rear piece is sandwiched between the pouches. Now we're going to stitch all three layers together on the serger. You can use pins or sewing clips at this point if you'd like to make it easier to match all three layers. Now, turn the pouch pieces right side out so that all the previous serging will be enclosed and there will be no exposed seams. From this point forward, treat the pouch pieces as a single layer of fabric, even though there are two layers.
Next, we need to sew the sides of the pouch to the rear briefs piece. After sewing the side of the pouch to one side of the brief's rear piece, now we will repeat the process on the other side of the pouch. After sewing the pouch to the rear, this is what you should have completed so far. The next step in sewing our briefs is to make a waistband elastic. Fold it in half lengthwise, and we're going to stitch the short ends together using a 1 half inch seam allowance. Open the seam allowance and run a stitch along the length of the waistband to stitch the flaps down. Now we will have a waistband elastic that's sewn in a loop. Next, we need to sew our leg elastics into loops. Overlap the ends by one inch and stitch with a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. This is what your three elastic loops will look like. One waistband elastic and two leg opening elastics. Now to aid in the sewing, we need to make quarter marks with chalk around our elastic waistband. The first quarter mark will be along the stitching you made, which will be the center back of your briefs. Pinch the mark you just made and flatten your elastic loop. Exactly opposite the first chalk mark place another chalk mark, and that will be your center front. Now, match the two chalk marks you just made in the middle and flatten your elastic loop. The left and right sides of your loop will be the third and fourth quarter points. Pinch them with your fingers and mark with chalk. Marking these quarter points is very important because it will help us distribute the stretch of the elastic while we're sewing. This is because the elastic waistband is intentionally cut smaller than the fabric of the briefs. Now, repeat the same process as with the waistband elastic to make quarter points around your leg opening elastics. The first chalk mark will go across the stitching. Now we need to find quarter points on the brief's waist opening. Lay your briefs flat with the center front seam and the center back double notch matching. Those will be your first quarter point and your halfway point. While your briefs are laying flat, pinch the left and right sides and mark with chalk. Those will be your third and fourth quarter points. By now, you should understand the process of finding the quarter points of a round opening. The last thing we need to mark with chalk is the quarter points of the leg openings of our briefs. The first quarter point will be the crotch seam of your briefs. Lay your briefs flat with the leg opening edges matching and pinch the opposite side 
to find the halfway point of your leg opening. Then match the first two chalk marks in the middle and lay your leg opening flat. Then the left and right sides you can pinch with your fingers to find quarter points three and four. Finally, make sure to mark quarter points on the opposite leg opening with chalk. Now, both leg openings and our waistband opening will all be marked with quarter points. After we have all the quarter points chalked for matching, we need to attach our elastics to the brief. Now, with our briefs turned inside out, we need to match the quarter points of the waistband elastic and the waist opening in the round. For this, I'm going to use sewing clips before I take it to my serger. The seam in our waistband elastic will be matched to the double notches on the center back of the briefs. Now that we have the quarter points matched with clips, let's take this to our serger and stitch the top edges together in the round. Keep in mind that we are stitching the elastic to the inside of the briefs. Now when we get to our serger, I like to start stitching at the center back of the briefs. Now something important here is we want to stitch the elastic waistband to the waist opening without trimming anything off. It may be helpful for you to disengage the knife on your serger at this point. As we're sewing, we want to put a gentle stretch on the waistband elastic, but not on the fabric. The waistband elastic is cut just a little bit smaller than the waist opening so those quarter marks are going to help us distribute the stretch equally. Don't pull the elastic too tightly, just stretch it enough to match the quarter marks you made. As you come all the way back around, overlap your starting stitches about one inch or so. This is what you should have after the waistband elastic is surged to the waist opening of the briefs. Now we're going to attach the leg elastics to the inside of the brief similar to how we attached the waistband. Working your way around the leg opening, use clips to mark the chalk marks on the elastic with the chalk marks on the fabric. I suggest not placing the overlap of the elastic at the crotch seam of the briefs because this will create a lot of extra bulk and it will be difficult to stitch. Instead, place the overlap of the elastic somewhere else around the leg opening. Use your clips or pins to attach both leg opening elastics to the inside of your briefs before you go back to your serger. Now, just as we did with the waistband elastic, we're going to stitch the leg elastics to the leg openings. If you have a free arm on your serger, this would be a good time to use it because the opening is smaller. I like to sew onto the fabric at the crotch seam. Just as we did with the waistband elastic, stitch all the way around the leg opening. Again, we don't want to trim anything off here, so make sure you sew within the knife. Also, just put a gentle stretch on the elastics to match it to the quarter points on the fabric. 
This step is probably the most difficult one in sewing your briefs because you have to match the straight edge of the elastic to the curved edge of the leg opening. The easiest way to do this is to use one hand to put a gentle stretch on the elastic while using the other hand to match the edge of the fabric with your elastic. As you come all the way around the leg opening, overlap your starting stitches about one inch. Repeat this step once more to attach the elastic of the other leg opening. After all elastics have been attached, this is what your briefs will look like. Now we need to stitch down the elastics. Roll the waistband elastic to the inside of the briefs. We're going to go stitch this down in the round. For this step, I'm going to use a wide zigzag stitch in contrasting thread, but if you have a cover stitch machine, you can most definitely do that instead for a more commercial look. At the start of my stitching, I like to do a back tack with straight stitches to secure the stitching. After that, I'll switch to a zigzag stitch to complete the round. The settings on my machine are a 2.5 length and a 6.0 width for the zigzag stitch. As you work your way around, you will place a gentle stretch on the waistband and zigzag directly over the serging. Notice that I'm using my left hand to gently pull the fabric tightly around the elastic. As you come up to seams at the front of the briefs, you probably will need to give your machine a little extra help to stitch over the bulky parts. As we come back all the way around, I'm going to clip the starting threads so that they don't get tangled up as I stitch over them. Overlap the stitching by a small amount, no more than a quarter of an inch. And then again, I like to switch back to a straight stitch and back tack at the end of the stitching to secure it. Now, similar to the waistband, we need to fold the leg elastics inside the brief and stitch them down with a zigzag stitch. We're going to do this step exactly as we did the waistband, except the elastic is a little bit thinner. Start stitching at the crotch seam with a back tack with your straight stitch and then switch to a zigzag. Sew directly over the serging all the way around while applying a gentle stretch to the elastic. Again, as you approach an intersecting seam, you may need to give your sewing machine a little bit of assistance to stitch over the bulky part. As you come all the way around, overlap your stitching slightly and secure with a back tack. Then make sure to go back and complete the same process on the remaining leg opening. This is what your completed briefs will look like. Congratulations, you're all finished. After you stitch up one or two more of these, you'll be sewing through these in no time, in all different colors and prints. This concludes the tutorial of the quick and easy briefs from Carl Wesley Sewing Patterns. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or have any additional questions, please drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.